that cannot be brushed, something like cauliflower and broccoli and uh, keep them white and bright so that I, they don't get brown. Just soak them in lemon and water and when you have garlic that you are chopping and the odor stays in your fingers, rub your hands with half lemon and no more odor. Look at this lemon, it's a little green so it's not really ripe. I put it in the microwave and I cook it in the microwave just like that for one minute and oh wow, look at it when it comes out, nice and fresh and fully ripe. I love my beet salad. To make sure that I don't have red stains, rub your hands with a half lemon and then rinse them and wash them with soap and it will take off all the red spots. Look at my hands. Clean and nice and no more spots. When you want to refresh your herbs and your greens, and greens for salad and greens for cooking, just spray them with lemon and water and let them dry and they will be brand new. Water with lemon in a bowl will help you so much to clean all those berries that are so hard to scrub. So I have here blackberries and blueberries and my favorites are the raspberries just one tablespoon of lemon juice in a large bowl with cold water and my berries are so clean i do the same with my apples and pears and every fruit and vegetable just soak them in lemon water mix white vinegar and lemon just one tablespoon of each and soak in a bowl to wash and clean every vegetable that is maybe complicated to clean. Something like anise, fennel and green peppers. Squeeze lemon juice and put one tablespoon of lemon juice in a 32 ounce a water container and drink it during the day and you have a no calorie and very refreshing drink daily and make sure to use a straw for that so that you can protect your teeth when i bring home all the seafood and fish that i shop for every week the first thing i do is put a tablespoon of lemon juice with water and i soak the fish in a bowl for about five to ten minutes it's a great way to clean your seafood when it's time to grill, the first thing I do, I rub my griller with a slice of onion and that's for another video that we'll be doing soon. Then I will put lemon slices and only then I would add the fish. The fish will grill beautiful and will be nice and clean. When I'm done handling uh, meat and seafood, I rub my hands with a half lemon to make the fish odor disappear. After grating cheese, I always grate the grater with a half lemon. And when my trash can smells odor, I peel off lemon and dry the peels. And then I would take baking soda and sprinkle baking soda and lemon underneath the trash bag and no more odors in my trash bag. I lick lemon when I feel nausea or coughing or if I have a sore throat. And now let's go to some beauty hacks. And this is a special combination for dry skin. Mix together one teaspoon lemon zest, one teaspoon salt and two or three tablespoons of olive oil and rub it on the areas that are dry and rough something like elbows and sometimes hands the lemon zest will peel off the dead skin the salt will help clean it and the olive oil will soothe the dry skin treat the dead skin of your feet by lemon juice salt and olive oil the same way and then put your socks on and leave it there for at least 30 minutes if you have an ink spot that you need to clean, dip a cotton ball with a little lemon juice and rubbing alcohol and rub it on the ink spot. It will disappear less than a minute. 
And here is the best face mask that I learned from my Mediterranean grandma. Put equal amounts of honey, cold pressed olive oil, and lemon juice in a little bowl and mix them. And rub it on your face. The lemon juice will clean your face and will get rid of dead skin cells. The honey will nurture your skin and the olive oil will nurture your skin and give your skin a beautiful smooth look. This is my face and this year I'm celebrating 60 years old. Tell me in the comments if you think I look 60 years old. Leave it on your skin for at least 20 minutes. I live in a high altitude area and it's very dry here and I get a lot of bleeding nose. If you get bloody nose like me, a very good way to treat it is with Q-tip and lemon juice and it will stop bleeding. Now I would like to share with you a few hacks about cleaning with lemon. For example, the faucets. Faucets are something we intend to forget sometimes, don't we? A good way to clean and disinfect a faucet is with lemons. If your kettle looks blurry in the base and you can see that there is stone, put lemon slices in it and cook it for at least 10 minutes. The lemon will help get rid of the residues in the kettle base. And if your refrigerator smells odor because something was forgotten there, just soak cotton balls with lemon, add to it baking soda, and cook it in the microwave for two minutes. And then place it in your refrigerator. There will be no more odor in your refrigerator. When your cup is looking brown inside, a good way to brighten it is rubbing it with lemon. If it's a summer season and you're starting to get ants in the house, a good way to get rid of ants is sprinkle on the floor some lemon zests. And if guests are coming over or you just want your house to smell wonderful, add cinnamon sticks, star anise, and whole cloves to a small pot and add two cups of water to it and of course add peels of a lemon. Cook it together for at least 15 minutes and then let it simmer. This will spread a beautiful aroma in your home. To disinfect any wood surface like cutting boards or wood tables like mine, rub it with a half a lemon. It will clean it and disinfect it. And I do the same with all my wood spatulas that I use a lot. Just rub all your wood spatulas with a half lemon after you cleaned them and then just rinse it. When it's time to clean my oven, I have equal parts of lemon juice, baking soda and dishwash soap. I mix them and I would brush them on all the areas that I would like to clean. I would brush the base of the oven, the windows, the glass, uh, the sides, and here, for example, this is my oven. I am brushing the formula on the glass today, and I'm going to leave it for three hours to soak it in, and then I just scrub it with a scotch bride. Then I wipe it with a kitchen rag, and I repeat it with paper towel, and look at the glass, look how clean it is. It's beautiful and all the oily spots are all gone. Isn't that pretty? And I do the same with pans and pots. Lemon juice, baking soda and dishwash soap and I brush my pan and I, and I let the formula soak in so that it can get rid of the burning spots and after two hours you know it didn't take off everything but you can see my pen still looks really nice after a whole day walking with my boots i am ready to clean my leather boots and all i do is mix lemon juice and cold pressed olive oil then i brush the shoes or the boots 
with the mixture and then I wipe it with cotton balls and my boots are so nice and clean and smooth. When you have a vase that you would like to refresh with something, just put a smaller vase in the center of it and slices of lemon and water and look how beautiful it is. And here is a great way to get rid of oily spots. This is oil and paprika and I poured it on a t-shirt. All I do is I add uh, lemon juice and uh, dishwash soap and leave it there for at least two hours. Do the same with your socks and then put them in the washing machine and wash them regular. It will get rid of the oily spots and your socks will look much brighter. I use a blow dryer to dry lemon peels and then I throw them in all kinds of corners in my attic and my basement to have a fresh smell. And when I need to clean my disposal, this is the best way to do it. All the half lemons that I used for other things are going inside the disposal and then run your disposal to have the best clean disposal. When I'm out of my toilet bowl cleaner, I use lemon to disinfect the toilet bowl and then I wash it with regular soap. Just a great way to disinfect the toilet bowl. And if I'm out of my uh, bathtub soap, I rub it with lemon and I disinfect in this way and get rid of all the scums and all the dirt. And I would do the same for the small sinks in the bathrooms. Just rub the lemon in and then wash it with regular soap and it will be bright and clean. And that's it, my friends. This is also the time to say thank you for joining me for all the miracles and hacks that we can do with lemons. So don't ever throw your lemons or the lemon peel. If you liked this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. Our next video will be...